Ghana man peni na na dodan kwa kufua do ewo enshemudia ya UN General Assembly ase na wenye tosso edioso enum na nje na paswa wadi na nudi sem etu jano ase COVID nineteen yadi na abano e ya mansa kumu adi inti nyami ya drum na wenye nishwa di huno na draba oya kuna nwe jamu nwa mai biansa kabini ni na yadi akuna free yeso na ubia huo adi. President of the General Assembly, Your Excellencies. Secretary General, a year ago, we were all looking forward to what we were sure would be the grand celebrations at this year's General Assembly to mark the 75th anniversary of the United Nations. Instead of the anticipated major gathering for the celebrations, we were forced to stay at home and employ technology to make our addresses to the Assembly. It is not only these celebrations that have had to be adapted to change circumstances. Our world has been turned upside down, and we have all been forced to learn new ways of doing things. It would have been implausible to suggest, but we have learnt not to shake hands or hug our loved ones. For many people, the most difficult thing to deal with in these uncertain and unsettling times has been the silence forced on churches, mosques, temples, and other places of worship. Singing in groups has become a dangerous activity, and a major item which is preoccupying the attention of world leaders is how to send and keep our children in school safely. All the sacred economic rules by which we have been urged to conduct our affairs in the past century have been thrown out at least for the moment. Indeed, all our best laid plans have turned out to be of no use when faced with the ravages of an unknown virus. We in Ghana have, however, chalked modest successes in trying to defeat the virus through resolute actions by my government, the cooperation of the Ghanaian people, and the grace of the Almighty. Mr. President, the lessons are clear. We all fell together and looked into the abyss together. Even as we closed our borders and shut airports, the reality dawned on all of us that we had to rely on each other to be able to get out of the trouble we were in. We have all gone down together. We should all rise together. If the answer to this pandemic lies in finding a vaccine, that vaccine should be made available to the whole world, rich and poor alike, developed and developing, all races and all beliefs. The virus has taught us that we are all at risk and there's no special protection for the rich or a particular class. For as long as the virus exists, whatever medical solutions that might be found should be made available for all in aid of our common humanity.